Alabama. It's uh, Wednesday, starting to get used to life on the road. We just talked to uh, Diane Harris at the Brown Chapel. Learned a lot about her experiences here in Selma. And my biggest takeaway that I have is just the walk between the chapel and here. We walked by a bunch of different businesses. It's just crazy to see how it's all integrated today and just thinking that not too long ago, about 50 years ago, every single shop that we just saw would have been separated between black and white just by their color. Yeah, so what kind of stuck with me today is Diane Harris, she actually, uh, during the Civil Rights Movement, she was about 15 when she was involved. And a lot of the material that we've been reading throughout the semester, or just generally in our previous encounters with the Civil Rights stuff, is that it kind of is often framed in a way that it makes it seem like it was a very distant, um, you know, event that happened really long ago. But when you meet someone like Diane, it kind of makes it a, a much more tangible event. It kind of takes on a new dimension. Um, and takes on a new perspective. I think that particularly that's important right now, um, especially with kind of when you think of it in the context of uh, racial equality and uh, the current events going on in the United States, it's, it's important to be able to talk to someone like Diane and reflect on what's going on. A lot of the teachers had them on. I think the most impactful thing today that was just us linking arms and singing, we shall overcome. You see all the pictures of just many people linking together and just giving you that empowering feeling just to be, we're going to get through it, we will overcome adversity. It's just really amazing to be in a place where a lot of history has gone, my ancestors have just got a lot done. It's a beautiful feeling just to know that we're here and doing it right now. Crossing this bridge right now, just knowing that Bloody Sunday happened here. People like to think that you know racism is in, and discrimination and animosity and intergroup intergroup prejudices are are off are all done, but it's it's not the truth. But you come here to Alabama, you still see some of these problems that are still ongoing. And some of this was echoed when Diane Harris gave her experience, you know, talking uh, talking about what she what she lived. But she finished up by say, saying that you know we we've advanced so much, we've done so much, but there's still a lot to do. We shall it was just the beginning.